One, two, three, one, two, three. Hello everyone, this is Mirtemov. And today we are going to try our best to finish Donkey Kong Country. We left at the factory levels last time. We are doing, as I said, something unusual by streaming on a Monday. Two, two weeks in a row. So it's like double, double unusual. It's, it's two weeks in a row streaming on a Monday. That, that, that doesn't sound like Mirtamov. That sounds like, that sounds like Mirtamov has been replaced by, by a doppelganger or a mimic. Anyways, yes, don't kick on country. Let me start the emulator. I mean, my, my modified Super Nintendo Earth ent Entertainment System. Conky Moth. Conky Moth. There you have it, folk. We have Conky, Conky Moth as the culprit for my unadverted replacement. Is this thing capturing? I don't know if it's capturing. It's making sound, but it's not capturing. Wait, why is it not capturing? There's something else I need to do. Hello, Mr. OBS. Ah, there you go. It took its sweet time. That's what happened. Okay, let's let's do this again. Up. Let's get over here. We're ready to go. Ready to conk the country with the donkeys. Do, 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 do. Out of respect, let us watch the Kong Donkey Country National Anthem. The national anthem of the donkeys of the Kong country. Oh, it loops. Oops. Okay, so, uh, we need to do the thing again because it's probably. Okay, there we go. We have 50 lives again. Yes, if I remember this game resets your life to 5 every time you reset the game. So now we should have 50 lives again. Oh yeah, I need to use this guy to go to the location we were last time. Go to the start of the game. Why? First level. Going to the hut. Okay. Let's go to the first level. Going with jungle. I cannot go further back than that. Jungle hijinks. This is what you wanted me to go to do. He's still fucked. <laughs> He's still fucked. He's still broke. Not the cave, the hut. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you mean the literal hut, where they come out from, okay. Oh, we, I didn't think to do that. <laughs> I didn't think to come back and get, get inside. Well, now we have 51 lives. Oh, there's butterflies. And so many bananas and tires. Why is there so many tires in this island? Do, do the Kongs have actual vehicles that require rubber tires? Or is this from, from, like, crash landings? Are these, like, rubber tires from, like, planes that fell on this island? Like, there seems to be a mix match of technology here. They could be for the industries of the croc. They have so many tires, though. And there's so many bananas. How are you gonna hoard bananas? You know, bananas don't last more than two days. Maybe they actually they don't even last one day. You sitting on a plate, on a on a on a mild weather room, and you, meanwhile Donkey Kong here has a has a cave, has a cave full of bananas. Kong's banana horse. Do, do, is this cave refrigerated or something? 
Like, is this cave refrigerated? Is this, is, is it like a good climate? To maintain bananas? It's naturally cooler. I don't think that's enough to make a giant horde of bananas last a long time. Like, I think the bananas will spoil before they even get to a quarter of them. <laughs> Here I am, overanalyzing video game logic. I'm sure that bodes well. Let's go back to where we were. And meditate. Okay, catch. Maybe Donkey Kong is doing a banana alcohol thing in his cave and he's not declaring it to the IRS. So you mean to say that maybe King K. Rool is the good guy? <laughs> hello, hello. Hey, Molon Drogo, bienvenido. Contraband banana alcohol. Oh, yes. Oh, dear. Old Drum Alley. Here we go. This is where we were getting destroyed last time. Let's see if we do any better. Drunky Kong. Wait, why is there bananas under that oil barrel? Ow. God damn it, Didi. Why is there bananas under that oil barrel? Is there a way to go down there? Huh? 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 Maybe you can destroy with something explosive. Huh? Wait, there's a rope up here. Wait, Nanny, there's a rope. It brings me back to the start, why? Why did it bring me back to the start? Well, I have no Didi. I got donkey. I got barrel. Maybe I can throw the barrel at it. Oh shit! I was looking at chat. <laughs> good start. Very good start. <laughs> why is there a rope that goes back to this place? Very strange. Very suspicious. <laughs> what the heck? Oh! There was a TNT. I got... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, it disappeared because I looked away. Oh, what the heck? Well, we can no longer get it until we... <laughs> we can no longer get it until we finish the level. It's fine. Let's just try to finish the level. We would like to win the games. So I can stop streaming on Mondays. I don't like streaming on Mondays. That's why it's so expensive to redeem a Monday stream. Boing. You forgot this game has these spawn mechanics. Yeah. I think a lot of people have good memories of this game because they played it as a kid. I don't have memories of this game as a kid because I never had a Super Nintendo. I had a Nintendo 64 when I was 7 and... Before that, all my video games were on MS-DOS and Windows. Most of my gaming library was Doom and Duke Nukem and Prince of Persia. So my nostalgia for this game doesn't exist. So I can be very critical of all the tiny little quirks that have shown up so far. Such as corners on the platforms. We are very, very icky, very inconsistent. You played this game back in the day, it's good, but you still prefer SMB. Ah, yes. Dongli Kong Konong. El País de los Burros Kong. <laughs> How would you badly translate the Kong in Spanish? Musicote. Dongle Bong. My eyes seem to have a disease, they're stuck. My eyes are just hearts now. Let me, let me let me rub my eyes a little bit. Okay. My eyes are doing better now. Very strange affliction that befell on me after receiving pets. Thanks for the pets, though. Thanks for the kisses, too. Kong. El País de los Burros. The orangutangos. I forgot that barrel is on a on a timer. Ooh. Ah! Fuck 
damn it. God damn orangutans. <laughs> hate them. I hate them. Ah! I hate them, I said. I said I hate them. I hate them. You never you never understood the donkey thing in the series? I don't remember either. Um, I think they just wanted to distance themselves from King Kong because, you know, it's public domain and they wanted something original for themselves. But they still used a Kong. Which is funny because then Universal tried to sue Nintendo for copyright infringement on something that is public domain, that it doesn't belong to them. Even though Nintendo def didn't even say King Kong, just Donkey Kong. It's the name of the monkey in John Man. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But remember, the arcade machine was not named John Man. The arcade machine was called Donkey Kong. You think they wanted to, to title it something like Obstinate Monkey? Yes, that's also an interpretation. That's... I mean, donkeys are stubborn. Or maybe it's just because donkey rhymes with monkey. But they didn't just want to say monkey, monkey Kong. So they say, say Donkey Kong. No! Oh. Good. I'm gonna shoot Rich anytime. Anyway. <gasps> oh, what? Ah, oh, orangutans! Ah, oh, you! What the fuck is guys? Triple, triple shooting! Triple shot, orangutan. Holy fuck! Whoa, this barrel's- Oh, this barrel's freaking me out! They're doing one, two, three... One... Two... Three, yeah, they're- They're- They're sneaky, they're, they're fucking around. These are not regular oil barrels, what the fuck? One... Two... Three... Then jump. Whoa, okay. I hear Didi. Oh, that's just a G. I hear the barrel, but I don't see it. Oh well, it's the exit anyways. Well, we finished the first cog. Cog. Trick, track, track. T, T, T. Trouble in terrorist town. It's okay to sacrifice monkeys here and there. No, not the birds! Not the birds! No, please. Didi! Didi, save me. There's birds. Didi, there's birds! Bonky dong bonky. Oh, welcome to the stream, Cloudhop. Not the birds, not the birds! The fucking birds! They fucked me again! Bird up. In the worst possible way. Ah, that song. What? I was standing over it! I was standing over the bird! How did I die? What bullshit hitbox what was that? What kind of hitbox are we talking about? They are predictable. What do you mean the hitbox? What do you mean I, I died? I was above the bird! Standing on top of it! Standing on top of it! Cheeky bastard, kill me anyways. The birds are inconsistent, you mean? Woo! The corner of that platform is sucks. I think the birds suck. <laughs> the hitboxes in this game are kind of fucky all, all the way around. The platforms are fucky, the, the enemy hitboxes are fucky. Everything is so fucky. Like a giant hitbox illusion orgy. The arcs of the coconuts are the same. No, it's not the coconuts. It's not the coconuts. Oh, see, see, see. What the fuck? How did I get hit? Why is the coconut hitbox so big that it hit me while he was shooting it out of his beak? What do you mean? What do you mean? It does not make no sense. <laughs> 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 I forgot that they fall off the platforms. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's let's keep going. Okay, 
It's good. Ah! Blah, 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 what the fuck? I was rolling. My roll stopped at the same moment that it fell on me. Okay. I'm just gonna jump instead. There. Oh, come on! I, took, I got the barrel just to lose it immediately. This motherfucker synchronizing. I don't trust these bastards. Their coconut hitbox is way bigger. Give me a second, I'm moving the, the window. Okay, window is out of the way. There we go. Let's keep going. Let's keep trying. This is a fairly hard level. I think the difficulty is not the level itself, it's that the hitboxes of the some of the stuff is bullshit. Ah! And you know. It's the times. The times. Bongi stonk. Oh, you, 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 you. I'm just gonna. Yeah, that's. That's what I'm gonna do. You. Fuck you and your coconuts. No coconut cream pies for you. Cancelled. The fuck are these guys jumping for? They're all fucking suicidal. What the shit? They just wanna kill themselves. Ah! Or they want to kill me so much that they don't care about self-harm. This is fucky. Okay, he didn't jump. He didn't jump. Oh no. No more coconuts, por favor. Por favor. No, stop it! Oh god, I only have Didi. <gasps> no Didi. Crouch. Oh! Oh god, oh god, what's that? Orangutans right now? Right here? <laughs> no, no, where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, where is he not falling? Okay. <laughs> My cortisol is shooting up. My cortisol is what, uh, at impossible levels. <laughs> Fuck that level. That level sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just anxiety percent. Ah, thanks for the, thanks for the pets. These little crocodile motherfuckers come from the game and watch version. Yeah. Okay, we're in a cave now. What's the gimmick here? Coral snakes. There's ropes. There's these bitches again. Snakes. This may have been the hardest level in the game. You think? I think it was the bullshits, bullshitas, bullshitiest ge level in the game. Bullshittiest. <laughs> bu 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 bullshittiest. Making up words to justify my skill issue. Fuck, that almost killed me. Get that coconut was coming out next frame. That coconut was coming out next frame. I was almost dead. I was one frame away from dying. We need to go down? Okay, we need to go down. <laughs> the fucking snake! The minecart level is even worse. There's many. Is there more minecart levels? Because... My first one was... The first one I had was bad. Was definitely bad. <gasps> bees! NOT THE BEES! Beaches, 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 beaches. Beaches, 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 beaches. Ah! <laughs> the beast! No, not the beast! You don't think there's one left? Maybe. I hope there's no no more minecart level m minecart levels. I'm gonna cry if there's any more of those. I just wanna finish the game. Ah! It is a very challenging one that requires memorizing in DK2. No. If you request DK2, I'm divorcing. <laughs> Signing divorce papers. <laughs> Don't worry, there probably is El Mao. No. I hate this bird. It's, it's, 
a strategically place to fuck you after jumping off the rope. You will play DK2 at some point, but that one will help you. The, for, that, for that one, you will help me? Okay. Ah! I thought I could climb faster than the coconut. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was so wrong. Bum. Toleo is easier. <laughs> Toleo is easier. I'm just gonna. I'm just not gonna climb the ropes anymore. They place me in the best position to get sniped by a coconut. <laughs> Toleo is an easier game. It's more chill. Okay, this time I actually did climb faster than the coconut. Didn't know you were speedrunning deaths. Yes, a sp uh, death percent speedrun. That's a, a new category that I, I, I created. It's the skill issue percent. Okay. I still am at the mercy of the wees. Am I safe? No, I'm not safe. Safety is an illusion. Don't you know? Safety is for the weak. Safety is not real. <laughs> okay, let's keep trying. Pop. And a muscle memory this shit by the time we <laughs> by the time we hit one hour. Got the donkey. The donkey's donk. The expansion of the donk has been achieved. Ah, the fucking snake is coming out of the cave. Ah. Fucking snakes. I forgot about that with B. <laughs> Snake monk the donk and the conk. That was close. That was close. The dunk expansion has not been achieved. Dunk expansions. Ooh. Expand dunk. You love that meme. That meme is delicious. That meme is good meme. That that's a good good meme. That's delicious meme. It tastes it tastes like bananas. You can taste that meme. Concentrate. I'm trying. I'm trying to concentrate. The chat is also very funny. Why would I? Ah! Oh, fuck the snakes! I hate that they place everything precisely so you get fucked in the correct in the right pixel to get fucked for for something that is the game's fault because the game doesn't let you move the camera so that's the game creating a situation that should not exist because the game has control of the camera and he decided to fuck you with the camera You cannot tell the camera, hey, can you show me a little bit ahead? No, 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 no. <laughs> that one, I'm gonna say it's not skill issue. That's game being bullshit. They should never put a hazard. They should never put a hazard in a place where it's certified. You will get hit because the camera didn't, didn't let you see. That's not, that's not good design, that's bullshit. The engine is in, the, in its worst version in a release. The engine is in its worst version in a release game? Celine, are you drunk? I don't know what you try to type. Ah! 
You believe it is used in DK 1, 2, and 3. I mean, I definitely... If the next two games are gonna have this type of issues, I'm definitely not gonna have a good time. Never try DK 2 and 3. This is the least polished it got. DK2 has a way better engine. Oh, ba -ba -ba -ba. DK3 solved most of the issues. Look. That snake should not be there. That snake should be like two pixels to the right. So you have enough time to move out of the way. If you so desire to land on that location. Like at that point, that that's not an engine issue. That that snake being in that location is not an engine issue. That is a level design issue. They on purpose placed the snake in a terrible position for quote unquote difficulty. That's not difficulty. That's bullshit. Look at this. That snake. See that that snake. That snake should be way more to the right. That should give you enough time to react to the goddamn snake. You have a split second to react. Yeah, that's too little. Oh, and now this, these assholes can, can fly up and down now? They didn't do that before. Okay, we got a checkpoint. So at least our stat- I forgot! <laughs> I forgot DD is a featherweight. And cannot stomp on those guys. Now I can. Thanks for the pets. Fuck you. Go shoot coconuts to your grandma. <laughs> he fell off. <sighs> oh. Nice. Okay. Okay. Whoosh, 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 wow. The boom. Okay, what now? Okay, so now the gimmick is don't go up. Or you get spiked by, by, by bees. Okay. <gasps> this motherfucker, why? Why do they do that? Avoid breaking DK bars when you have two monkeys. What, you're going to... You, you think I'm gonna take the risk of going back to the barrel? That's very unlikely to happen. I don't think I'm gonna take that kind of risk. <gasps> Why is this motherfucker here? I hate this. I hate this. Fuck you. <sighs> oh. Ooh. Whoa. <sighs> Look! Why? Why is that necessary? Ah! <laughs> I jump at that precise moment. And the checkpoint is so far away. I don't have a donkey. I have a Didi. Oh, Didi has doesn't have enough strength to throw the barrel through the through the coconut. Neat. No, it's not that. Oh, the, co the coconut hit the barrel before Didi could throw the barrel. Okay, I see. I understand. I spaghetti on myself. A weekend spaghetti itself. <laughs> spaghetti flow through me and I could do nothing to stop it. Oh! <laughs> I thought there was gonna be a platform at the bottom. I was wrong! 
I thought I had jumped just in time for a new platform to spawn. But you don't see it doesn't exist. Yeah, I know, but it exists the moment it spawns. I was assuming it was going to spawn while I was falling. It didn't, which is the issue. No! It's just walking there. I need donkey. How does Didi deal with that? I thought he was gonna continue walking through on the third platform. It, like there was such a big platform, he, he just decided to keep walking on the corner instead of walking on the rest of the platform. What do you mean? Yeah, I know Didi has to avoid them. I know Didi has to avoid them. But I didn't expect him to turn around. That's inconsistent. They never turn around like that. See? See? Why is he doing that? Why is he doing that? Why is he doing that? He doesn't do that. They have, there's so much platform left. There's so much platform to the right. Look, look, this one is using, utilizing, is utilizing his entire platform, right? This one is walking through the, 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 on the entire thing. What do you mean? What what barrel? <laughs> <laughs> what barrel? Okay, I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah. Now we can donkey. Now we can stomp. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Hang on, switch back to Didi. No, I need donkey. Never mind. Just thinking. Switching back to Didi in case I don't want to lose donkey. But I need donkey. <sighs> hate this thing. I hate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that thing. That thing should not exist. At least not like that. Whoosh. Whoosh. Okay, switch to Didi. As a sacrifice for the vulture coconuts. Oh, I managed to actually time it correctly this time. Ah, here's the exit. This level was harder than the, than the last one. Yes, it's full of bullshit level design. At least we got a candy to save the game. Level design is poopy in these levels. Poison Pond. Let me look up the names of the levels too. Wait, am I gonna die over time? Is this a speedrun level? Because the water looks pretty stinky. There doesn't seem to be any 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 feedback. Okay, the game doesn't have that. Yeah, okay. So I, I can just swim in, in stinky water forever. That's good. It's just stinky water and low visibility. Okay, okay, okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh, he got me anyways. Camera doesn't do this game any favors. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh! This levels require concentration and precision. Inter required me to switch to Didi, who has a smaller hitbox, probably, hopefully, maybe. Allegedly. <sighs> fucking shark! Came out from the fucking side! It's more than concentration, you need prediction. 
You need to assume that every corner in this fucking game will kill you. You need to assume that the borders of the screen are, are, are lethal because everything just pops out with no warning. It's like the bar it's like the entire game is that Battletoad section, but at least Battletoad t Battletoad actually warns you of what's coming. So Battletoad in that regard is better because Battle Battletoad warns you of what's coming next. This doesn't warn you at all. The entire screen is lethal. Battletoads doesn't warn you much. No, I'm talking about the, the, the infamous infamous uh, auto-scroller section where you're in a vehicle, vehicle of some kind and you have to dodge and jump and stuff. Um, in that section, they, they tell you what's coming. It's just that it's too fast. So it's terrible. Like, it's terrible because it's too fast. And it's very difficult because it's too fast. In this one, things move faster than you. Projectiles move, fa move faster than you most of the time. But they don't warn you and they spawn from the screen at a speed that you will not be able to avoid with no warning. If you are not in the correct position, you are dead. You need to assume that everything will be in every position at every time, at, 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 at every single moment. There is no warning. If you go one pixel too fast, you're dead. See? That's a, that's bullshit. Look how fast that moves out of the screen. If I wasn't sticking to the floor and moving one pixel per second, I would be dead. Listen to the audio clues too. The audio clues come after the thing already spawned. So it's not helpful either. The warning doesn't come before the thing happens. It comes after it happened. And after it happened, it's already too late. See, that also doesn't even have an audio cue. You just have to assume there's gonna be a new one. I love hitboxes in this game. <laughs> I'm actually glad I didn't grow up with this game. <laughs> I'm actually glad that this was not my childhood game. Oh yeah, this is at the end. for you to sleep. Have a very good night, Marisa. Sleep well. Thanks for the pets. It was the same fucking color as the background. Good camouflage. Good, good, good one. a secret at the left of the start of the level that you may appreciate but it's okay swordfish no you just want to finish the game <laughs> you just want to finish the game so i don't have to play it anymore <laughs> that's all i care about 
The less I see of the game, the better. <laughs> I would rather play a Salvera level. <laughs> At least Salvera levels. They're bullshit, but you know, they're bullshit with purpose. They're bullshit with purpose. And to rag most of the screen from the safe world, there is another fish. Okay. Let's try that. I guess behind the shark. Oh, great. even is a hitbox. A miserable pile of secrets. A miserable pile of misaligned collision boxes. You were on it this once. No. It touched my toes. It touched one pixel. It touched one pixel. I was one pixel to the right, and that's what it touched, and that's what killed me. You can clip it if you want. Pull out the ruler. Pull out the ruler. Let's count how many pixels were inside that thing. I understand why people think your 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 level in 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 Moth Planet, your 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 dorm room was hard. I understand why I, why why you say that the original was harder, and I I'm, I'm I am concerned about that statement. That statement concerns me. That's a terrifying statement. Now I understand, and and that makes me want you to relearn what level design should be. <laughs> you see that shit? That shit. That shit doesn't make sense. If I wasn't in the pit, I would be. I would have lost a, a life. I would have lost a fish. Doesn't make sense. You need warnings. You need something to warn the player. How is it that Mario did that better, and it's older than this? How did they mistake? Uh, how did they forgot to copy their homework? <laughs> Just copy the homework and changing the NAFTA so that <laughs> changing the NAFTA that it doesn't look the same. <laughs> and, and don't get me wrong, Mario can be hard. Mario can be plenty hard, but Mario has lots of things that warn you when bullshit is about to happen. Mario has all the all the potential to be hard as fuck. This isn't the Mario engine. Yeah, but precisely what that's what I'm talking about. You could just how do you not take the cues of a, already proven level design choices and completely miss miss out on <laughs> making the same but like making the same mistakes of game designers on the NES. It wasn't so proven at the time. No, 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 no. This is super. It's 1994. NES is already at the, at the end of its life. Super Nintendo is very well on its way to be one of those high selling consoles. Say Nintendo, the Sega campaign against Nintendo. Sega Nintendo stuff was already happening. 
So you know, you know, there is plenty of material to copy from. A whole mob of Kremlings just passed through. The trouble with you kids is that you are all too soft. No, the problem with us is that your game is bullshit. The old games were far harder when I was a jungon. We used to play for hours on a single screen game and then think we were lucky, and we were. You wouldn't last two minutes in a real game. I could get through DK Country with only one life easy. I'm talking about when games were games. Says the monkey in a game full of bullshit. You can find a phone in ropey rampage between the rock and a hard place. Find Candy and she can save your game for you. That's all there is to it. Piece of cake if you ask me. I think they spent the entire budget in the in the sprites and the music. And in, they forgot to pay the level designers. That's the problem here. They revolutionize pre-rendered uh, computer-generated sprites, uh, 3D sprites, and and hire an amazing composer. But they forgot to pay the level designers. That's what happened. The computer generated, but you think they spent more time on the engine and were rushed later on the end. Oh fuck, I was talking. So you're saying this is another minecart level? Great. Delicious. Oh yes it is. Here we go. And to press the jump button. Fraction nanoseconds apart. Shit. Calm down. Oh. Oh! What the fuck is this? This is the... Okay, they changed the physics. They changed the physics. They changed the physics. This is not how it worked before. This is not how the minecart worked before. Now you're jumping out of the minecart. Instead of jumping with the minecart. Do I have to hold down the run button? Okay. Yeah, that's very different from the previous minecart levels. They they changed the rules. What the fuck? Why did they do that? They changed the rules. Oh, this is this one is particularly horrible. Yeah, I can feel it because they changed the rules, so they can add more bullshit. Because now you have to also measure the distance by which you're jumping, and you have to dodge shit. Because crouching is not good enough. Yep, there we go. That's gonna be the rest of the stream. <laughs> fuck is that guy doing there? Okay, at least DD can stomp on them. Uh, uh, give me a moment, give me a moment. 
Give me a moment. <sighs> I'm assuming that's a, a shortcut. Would love to take it. A beast! And a piece of shit! Placing the most angward of angles to make sure your pixels have maximum coverage in monkey to be action. Oh my god. Oh my god, we made it. Fuck this level. <laughs> oh, let's save. No, 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 no. I said let's, let's save. Por favor. Yes. The boss is also no joke. Is that the boss? Blackout what? No, that's not the boss. Oh, that's the level where the flags flash. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Here we go. Oh, the enemies are not visible. That's fantastic. Usually what they, when they do this is only to hide the stage, not the enemies. But in this one is the stage and the enemies are gone that's gonna be great that's gonna be fantastic progress slowly yeah this is definitely a, a move move pixel by pixel donkey gone donkey gone where's the donkey gone oh he's going into the deep abyss of hell What's on the other side? Show me. I don't trust the rope. You need to show me more. Okay. At least there's nothing. Until you land and there is something. We missed the rope! Yay! Of all the things that could have done me in, it was the rope. <laughs> I can't calm down! This game is bullshit! Do you want more tea? I haven't finished mine actually. I'm not drink my tea. I'm so sorry, but they really did think that if if their definition of difficulty was bad level design, they definitely nailed it. <laughs> they definitely nailed it. Synchronize with the flickering. Shit. Piece of shit. Piece. Of course they synchronize the platform with the flickering. Crack. 
Great fun, guaranteed. Fuck is that platform? Never seen that platform before. That's a new new object. Oh, it goes down, okay. <gasps> you motherfuckers! We're hiding in the fucking piece of shit. They were not visible. They were visible the moment they landed. I really don't care for secrets right now. I care for surviving. There's an orangutan. It's already unfair as shit, and they put an orangutan. Whose barrels are also invisible when you're fucking in the dark. And there's the exit. We fucking left, finally. Fuck that level two! Wow. It's like the last word is a showcase of all the worst level design I've ever seen in my life. Let's save the game. <laughs> Molon. <laughs> I fucking love the capybara. Good shit. That's a great emote right there. See, that emote describes how it feels to play this game. It's extremely accurate. Good, good. Okay, time to fight the boss. We have a barrel. Pull down because there's a lot of precision platform and left after this. So what do we do with the barrel? I don't get it. Does it die on its own? There's something we need to do? Nope, it's invulnerable. Is this just an endurance? Not the best bosses in existence. Is this just endurance? What's going on? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. So you just dodge the barrel, kill the stuff. Got it. <sighs> okay. Ui. Okay, it's dead. It died on its own. Congratulations, Donkey Kong. You survive. Chimp caverns. Oh my god, there's more. I'm so happy about this information. You can now hoard more bananas and contribute to the poverty of the whole Kong nation. Yeah, Donkey Kong is the bad guy here. I think King K. Rool is right. I think King K. Rool is correct. I think he's the good guy. Donkey Kong is hoarding bananas. He is accumulating wealth. Making everyone else fall into poverty. There are four more levels. Oh no. Tank top trouble. And two bosses? Oh god. What is this? You know, I'm gonna say one thing. I do like the graphics in this game. I, I like them. That's that's what it has going for it. I like that that lantern up there. That looks very good. So you know, I, I'm being very negative. I'm, I'm being extremely negative about the level design. Let's be let's be positive. Let's be positive. SNES transparencies. Yeah, that looks gorgeous. That that thing up there, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. That's that's good. The sprites 
pretty good. The music, really, really, really good. Even better than the entire game. They polished their shit a lot more in the coming games. I'm glad that they had the chance to make more games. And make them better, because this one is stinky. Like, I can see how this game use salt. Oh, we have to keep this thing fueled? I see. The gimmick here is refueling that thing. Okay. Okay, give me a second because I need to concentrate so I can no longer reach out. Yes, this doesn't seem like it has a stopping button. It seems this doesn't have a stop button. So chat is off the... Chat is... On hold until I can either die or find the exit. Oh, I assume I had to jump on that guy. Oops, I'm dead. Okay. Wait, what now? How do I get up there? I guess I I drop that and keep moving on my own checkpoint. Okay, I can read chat now. They polish their shit a lot more in the coming games. Levels like you are seeing are using mechanics that don't all return. Whew. I mean, the problem is not... Oh, I already failed. The problem is not the future, it's the now now. <laughs> the problem is not the future, it's the present. I am not dealing with the future, I'm dealing with the past. I'm dealing with the past now. The future past of the present future. I failed. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh, great. Get, can reach it. I'm fucked. Need to get the thing down there. Need to get the tire on the on the platform. Careful not to get the the fuel too early. I don't think getting the fuel too early is a problem anymore, because it's the exact amount of fuel required to get through. So it means a single one and you're dead. In this instance, I will leave. Ah! Why did that go at one million miles per hour? Why did that do a million miles per hour roll? DK goes like that. DK needs to stop eating bananas. Clearly, the diarrhea made him too fast. to eat, eat, eat something else. Or maybe it's the coconut cream pies that made him go that fast. Okay, let's wait for the platform. Okay. <gasps> Don't fucking fall, you piece of shit. Okay, we got... No! The fucking barrel took me. Oh god, no oh god. What the shit are those barrels doing? Are they a trap? No! Why is the thing not going? Ah! 
Why did it stop? It had fuel. They stop when you get hard, so just fucking fuck, fuck you. <laughs> Sorry to say, but this game is not very good. This game is actually bad. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna die. Okay, safe. Ah, I'm gonna die for real now. Lots of smear, smear screaming today. Yeah, just die. Ah, good, they give me the game over so I don't have to kill myself. Oh, well, he can rock. There's a bit of alien or a little. I think it doesn't matter if they give you any leniency. The problem is not the leniency. The problem is the platform is bullshit. The problem is the game is bad. Yes, that's the problem. The game is bad. That's the real problem. They really thought that bad level design is good. It's good difficulty settings. They thought bad level design means hard game. Gamers like hard games, right? Gamers want the hardest shit. They want to be the hardest shit ever made. But how do we make a game so hard that gamers feel very, very good about beating our very hard game? Oh, that's right, we just make very bad levels so that gamers feel like the game is hard. Which means our game is good, actually. Because it's bad, it's a bad game, so gamers think it's hard. And because gamers think it's hard, that means that beating our game Makes you a badass. I love the ending beavers used to fuck you. After the entire bullshit that you had to endure. Oh, and we can no longer save, by the way. We're engaged. Save state. I'm not gonna save that. I want to enjoy how bad this game is. So I can continue saying how bad this game is. The fact that this game is so bad that you need the 50 life code. This is the kind of game where after you beat it, you will uninstall it and then burn the CD. This level is dodge the wheel. Yay. Oh! Neat. Hello, MJ. Welcome to the stream. Oh, thanks for the subscription.
moth dying noises. Yeah, between this and Toleo, you you guys probably have an entire soundboard of moth noises at your disposal now. You should save state out of this uh, out, of, out of the selection screen. DKC games do take a lot of precision and practice to get good. Yeah, but it's because they made a bunch of bad level design decisions and they advertise it as a, as a good game. It's a good game. See, it's hard because the levels are badly designed and the camera doesn't work. So it's a good game for the time. It's up to the player to make pixel perfect hitbox avoidance. See, that's bullshit. That's bullshit right there. You get no warning that that thing is gonna pop up at that speed. No, the games have a lot of blind leaps, the first one especially. Yeah, th uh, this game is just leaps of fate because the camera doesn't show you anything. And there's no warning of what's ahead. You have to move one pixel at a time. Like you're a, a blind person looking for mines. Like you're a minesweeper. This this game is minesweeper. <gasps> Camera? Is actually showing me what's under me so they have the technology why haven't they been using this they can move the camera why they why don't they do it they have the means to move the camera ahead of the characters to show you but they don't incredible You have to stop at the ledge for a while and it's not all implemented. No, 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 it's only that ledge. No other ledge in the game has done that before. This is version of... Stop! I mean, whatever the engine, whatever version, I, I don't think it's good, good enough excuse. Yeah, they polish it for the next game, but... It's amazing that this was... That this is... This is definitely a nostalgia game. This is definitely something I could only enjoy if I played this as a child and this was the only game I had from a selection of like three games. This is definitely something only a younger version of me could enjoy because the younger version of me had no nothing else to play. I guess the gimmick here is blowing up the snake barrels and avoiding getting snake. jumps checkpoint <sighs> oh <sighs> what is hitboxes <sighs> barrel beaver barrel oh what's that the name of these guys cranks something like that Crank barrel, clanks, or something like that. Crunches, crunchers. I don't know what they're called. I forgot. Scream blows, scream blow, scream blow crocs. Is that's the name? That's what they're called. <sighs> Armadillos now. Oh my god! This is the the enemy production level. Fuck. <laughs> Crunch. You think? This entire level is just generators. 
Misty Mines, Moth Kong Country. There are no moths in this country. They're all dead. Donkey Kong killed them all by hoarding wealth, hoarding the, 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 the hoarding the bananas, driving everyone else to poverty. The moths went extinct in this country. Also, ouch, cheese. Go under it. Nope. Oh shit, oh shit. Fuck you. Oh, motherfucker, actually. This game is very inconsistent with what's permanent and what doesn't persist. Not everything that goes out of the screen disappears. Oh. It's like everything is completely arbitrary. The rules are whatever the rules want to be at any point in time. You cannot trust a, a single rotten pixel in this game. Thanks for the pets. Calm down. No, I can't calm down. This game sucks. How am I going to calm down when I'm playing something that is actually painful to play? It's like I'm getting my balls flattened by hammers. And the hammers also have nails. And the nails are red hot. What the fuck happened now? Shit fuck. 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 Okay. There we go. Fucking exit. Go safe? Yeah, good idea. Remaining levels are less stressful than what you have done, so if you want to take a break now, it's a good, good time. No, I'm fine. I'm gonna finish this game. I don't wanna see this game ever again. I want to do whatever I can to never see this game again. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, okay. I see. Loopy lights. So they always jump. Is that a gimmick or something? Just precision jumping, I suppose. Just gotta, just gotta have the higher ground, I suppose. They jump when you do- Yeah, no, it's more than that. They jump just high enough that you could potentially bounce on their head if you're on an even ground. So yeah, let's reset.
Let's reset and still very dumb. Still a terrible idea. And I mean, it's a terrible idea, not because it's a the implementation of having an enemy that copies you is a bad idea. That's not the part that is a bad idea. The part that is a bad idea is doing that in a game where hitboxes are inconsistent. And it's the, the hitboxes are not even pixel perfect. The hitboxes are whatever they want to be. That's... Oh, I didn't do the code. Let me redo that. You don't think this one returns at all in future games? They can do whatever they want with the mechanic, but if the game itself is broken... The mechanic is gonna hit different. It's gonna be different. Okay, let's continue. Lopy lights. There we go. We have low visibility and enemies that require precision jumping to destroy. There's a barrel in the first pit. You passed it. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's use ball. Pocket we ball. I don't care to find secrets. I care to finish the game. I never see it again. <laughs> Looks like a shortcut. The only shortcut that really exists is the one that lets me finish the game. The only shortcut is for me to stop the stream. And promise to never stream this game again. That's the only shortcut that exists, that is real. <sighs> Motherfucker was in the corner. <sighs> it looks like it gets you to the end of the level? Where? That's a good shortcut. That is a good shortcut. First hole in the middle. This one. Oh, well, we need to not fail this minigame, I suppose. I know where I am. Don't know if this is the exit, as you say. Nope, I think it's not far from where I died. I guess pretty much the same spot. It was just a, a bonus. That was no shortcut at all. Just a little detour. A little waste of time. Okay, this one is a motherfucker. <gasps> There's another one? Are you kidding? Are you for real? <laughs> the, making this game must have been horrible because the people who made this game literally made wanted to make sure you suffer. They wanted to express how much making this game suck dick so, it's making this game must have been so terrible that they wanted to make sure the players could feel how bad it, it was to make this game.
I think it's more of a case of testing your rain too much and assuming difficulty. No. No. Because they have the money. It's a big company. They could hire QA testers. They had the mula for that. This is probably a game that's sold entirely on, on the way it looks more than how it plays. Remember that this was the era of WOW! COOL GRAPHICS! Where, where graphics could push a game sales more than its gameplay. And this game looks very nice. So, I admit, this game looks very nice. And sounds very nice. On how it looks alone, I will have, I will definitely have gotten this game back in the day. Using how it looks and how it sounds, it sounds great. But on how it plays, no, I will have regretted the purchase, and I will have wish I could return it. That there was a fucking. Oh my god, and they're gonna put orangutans too. With the low visibility. Delicious. Wonderful. At least this time the vis low visibility allows you to see a little bit. <gasps> they put a motherfucker at the end! You see what I mean? These developers wanted the players to suffer. They didn't want players to enjoy the game. They hated the game so much that they wanted the players to hate the game just as much. <laughs> they wanted the players to share their own hate for the game. That the developers had when they made this game. Put a more for at the end. And for what purpose? Yeah, you didn't remember how much DK1 hit that many enemies at the end of the level. Like, you can do that, of course, but put a warning. Make, make a warning. Show it before you do it. This is uh, an extreme case of... Of... Just straight up malicious... Malicious gameplay design. It's just bad design on purpose. <sighs> now we have to Rangutan to deal with. This motherfucker at the end, who still got me. We got a candy, so we can at least save the game. <laughs> Platform pedals. Okay, I see. Termadillos are the one enemy that break the rules of what's persistent. They can exi continue existing even after leaving the screen. Without you actually moving to look at them again. But that's also some bullshit. Because no other enemy does that. Every other enemy resets their position when they leave the screen. Except these guys. These guys persist. Even after. Shit. Is there one's gonna come? No? Oh, never mind. 
They do whatever they want. They do whatever they want. The rules don't exist for them. I was expecting him to come. It didn't. That one came back. They do whatever they feel like doing. Rules are for chumps. job camera I almost died because of how you did that why are those guys so weird their color palette was heavily it's like their color palette died or glitch that's not the color palette they usually have look very, very different oh let me guess they only die to they only die to barrels. Yeah. Mm. And then they broke the consistency of the game by forcing you to throw a barrel to the left. Now we gotta do it all over again. Which, by the way, the camera doesn't show you that you have to throw a barrel to the left. Because you don't know there's an asshole to the left. Until it's too late. You just have to remember next time. That's a that's a life that you need to sacrifice to learn the position of that enemy. See what I mean? That's not good design. You don't need you shouldn't need to lose to learn. Losing is not how you learn. That's that's just grinding. That's just grinding. Now I know I need to throw a barrel to the left. And we're fucked. This game must be what is what it's like to be a to be a bottom. <laughs> That's an allegory. And I need Donkey Kong.
this is like being at school and being told that you need to learn that, that you need to memorize a book for an exam because you the camera is useless and you rely entirely on remembering the exact position of enemies so you know what you, what you're doing next Because the camera completely useless. That B, if I could see that B, that B will never will have never killed me. I could have timed my jump and avoided the B. This type of memorization is like the pinnacle of bad level design. If I cannot plan my, my, what I'm going to do based on the information I have available on screen I'm sorry, but you, you fucked up You fucked up your design You didn't design a game You designed a torture device You designed a memorization puzzle That's what you designed This is a memorization puzzle Yeah, like Mega Man. Yeah, but you can see the Joku blocks in the entire screen. And surprisingly, the Joku blocks are still a better design than this. Because the Joku blocks, you can see them entirely. You can see the entire, the entire pattern of disappearing blocks. So you can actually plan and strategize what you're going to do before you mo make your move. This is like when told you have a quiz tomorrow and you have to study 30 pages for the quiz of a book that has like Arial, Arial 8 font. And it's extremely densely packed with information. This is just grinding. Memory puzzle. Jump. Still got me. Still hit me. Great. Fucking through the barrel. God fucking damn it. Don't have fucking Donkey Kong. Go die, I guess. Fucking made that jump finally.
Okay, we got Cranky, we got Safe, and we got a boss fight. Have you brought back those bananas? I loaned you. We used to be lucky if we got three shades of grey, let alone any real colors. We used to have to survive with a two frame walk. Okay, he's repeating himself. Sometimes our sprites used to change size for no apparent reason. We never had any of this fancy 3D stuff. Oh no, we had to survive on what we had. And what little we did have, we were happy with. Well, I've never seen anything like it. The crafty croctopus corners his, his croc of collectibles in coral capers. He can't really fly, but express what the ostrich can flutter about. See ya later, alligator. Ha ha! The thing is, once you get execution nailed down, it feels good to play. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. I, I nailed that section perfectly at the, at the last... That, that wasn't a perfect execution. Do I feel good about it? No, I feel terrible. I feel like I was just... Doing shit against my will that I di shouldn't have had to do. Nothing about that felt good. Nothing about that felt rewarding. I really don't feel good. I feel bad. Very bad, in fact. Did I save? I didn't see if it's safe. Oh, now the coconut sounds. Okay. Okay, it's the same deal as before. Where it's faster, I guess. And now it's purple. Take, so take a break to stretch. Anyway, the next one is a bullshit boss. You lost more lives to that than the final boss. You need to get there. No, this game is just bad. This is a bad game. That looks very nice. That's it. That's all this game has for it. No, even at the start, the cracks started to show very early in the game. It's not now that you can see that the game is not at the end that you can see that the game is terrible at the start of the game you could already see the cracks of things not being correct of things not feeling right like there were like warning sirens red flags all over the first few levels Oh, that coconut disappeared for no reason. Oh, great. Okay, let never try to jump on him when he's that high. Okay. But sometimes you can. I don't know what's... I don't understand. Just jump the coconuts. Okay. Fuck you. Ah! He has invulnerability until he is finished with his attack, which throws X coconuts depending on the number of the, f of the face. Okay. Understood. He needs to throw one coconut. Then we can hit him. Then he's gonna throw two coconuts. Then we can hit him. So he's gonna throw three. One. Two, three, then we can hit him. Now he's gonna throw four. One, two, three, four, then we hit him. Now he's gonna throw five. We're fucked. Great. When you chase him actually, when you bounce on him when, with the targeting? But I don't wanna restart again. Because he's inconsistent in how he 
can take damage from that. It's hard to pull when you have to hit high enough. Hmm. Fuck that shit. The multi arcs are not good. How oh, is that? Yay. Extremely arbitrary boss, I see. Okay, so that's Gangplank Galleon. I suppose that's the last the last thing we have to do. I'm gonna go safe. Do you want the? No, after we're done. After we're finished, we can have the. So I guess this is the boss fight with King K. Rule. Oh! Oh, that's great! He starts already throwing shit at you! How painful is he going to be? Oh. Well, we have 30, 30 something lives to grind until he dies. Jump on his head when he has no crown. Yes, I, I understood that. has several faces so these guys is like the game or is that a different game remember that at some point he's a pirate and at some point he's something else other game okay what's he doing now oh nice jump jumping the fuck is happening Oh, that's close. That's too close. Oh, now it's coming back! Shit! I, I, I did think it was taking too long. I see why. Okay. He's doing the thing. Ah, they still... They still hit you when they're bouncing. Usually when they, stuff like that bounces, is they're, they're already in the foreground. So it's not a projectile anymore. They don't steal a projectile here. Okay, it's gonna run faster. And on the other direction. It's gonna go very fast. Bounce. It's gonna bounce. Okay, now it's gonna come from the other side. Throw the crown. Bounce. Okay, do it, do it again. Do it faster. I see, now it's faster. So you're gonna do three, three volleys. Yes, three volleys. Shit! Rolling can help you move faster. Yeah, I suppose. Shit. 
shit. It's gonna do the three volleys now. They're faster, so it's more annoying to dodge like that. Here, use dodge the cannonballs. I think jumping will kill me more, actually. Looking at how the angle works. It has to be rolling or moving it's exactly the be, the precise moment they start the lower the lower lowest cannonball has moved. It's when it's faster than it than, than it helps, maybe. Yeah, when it's slow jumping will definitely kill you. I don't know if it's gonna be easier when it's faster to jump. Definitely doesn't feel like it.
Hmm. Motherfuck! Oh, he's dead! Ah, great. We finish. Fuck this game. Let's delete it immediately. <laughs> Let's not even finish the credits. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, everything starts with a K. The end? Question mark. Please don't tell me this game has different multiple endings. No, it's not over. That's fake. Oh, it's fake. Oh, it's fake. Oh, he jumped on me. Piece of shit. Oh, great. Fake ending. Great. It was charming when Borderlands did it, long ago. This instance, I don't think it's very charming. Is this the first game you know that, that did it? Yeah, I'm just saying, it was more tasteful when it happened in Borderlands DLC. But uh, the first Borderlands, I, if I remember. The one with the zombie expansion. I think that's the one that did the fake out, fake out credits. Yeah, in that was in that one it was charming, but you still nuke the boss in one hit though. Boss kind of died on its own, so <laughs> you just look at it funny and the boss died. In this instance, he looks at you, fu you funny, and you die. This jumping pa pattern will change. Is what we needed. Okay, fake credits. Oh no, never mind. He's doing this immediately. Shit. <laughs> oh, you can't. Throwing it faster, I see. Oh, he's jumping again. Ah. Oh. I see. They decided the final battle had to be just as painful as playing the entire game. Jump too early. Yeah, you should assume that if I don't have bold monkeys. At that point, I, I should use reset.
Oh, I guess that's the real one. <sighs> well done, donkey, my boy. We'll have thought you a junk whippersnapper like you. We'll have beaten that bunch of no good Kremlins. You've made an old man proud. Go and look into your hoard. I think you'll be in for a surprise. If I had been playing, I would have found everything. I'm sure there must be some bonus rooms you haven't found. Yeah, no, I'm, I am not even thinking of any percentage of completion. If anything, playing this game has has made sure that I don't want to play Donkey Kong ever again. I hope the modern ones improve on the designs. Like the, the Retro Studio developed ones. Because boy, this... DK2... You know, see, the, here's the thing. People keep telling me DK2, 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 but... This doesn't inspire confidence, and then I'm thinking, maybe it's just rose-tinted glasses. People just really remember this game fondly because it's, this is what they had. Not because it was a really good game, it's be because... Let, let's be honest. Let's be honest, the movement options on the two monkeys 
Do you feel the monkeys feel good to control? I don't feel like the monkeys feel good to control. Like, they don't feel... They don't do anything too interesting. And it doesn't feel good to control anyways because the platforming is inconsistent. The hitboxes are inconsistent. The two monkeys are inconsistent in what they can do. For no good reason. Maybe this game plays better in, in, in co-op mode? Is it better with, with two players? But you have played so... Uh, it, 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 it makes little difference. Like, maybe 20 years from now when I play DK2 I will, I will see... Right now this, this really left a uh, really bad taste in my mouth. I, it, in two-player mode it doesn't really make it that easier. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose it only gets messier and easier to, easier to kill each other. I did this. I I don't feel good. I don't feel. I finished the game and I don't feel good. <laughs> it's not like when I play level head levels from someone who made a a level that is hard. Like I actually feel good when I beat a level head level. From someone who made something very hard. Like, if it's supposed to be hard, for example, like, I can accept that. This game doesn't feel like it's supposed to be hard. This game feels like it's hard because very bad choices made it into the game. This game doesn't feel hard because it was designed to be hard. That's how I feel. Because in level, I, I, I've I've played level head levels that are hard, but I actually feel good about getting better in the level and, and actually finishing. I, I feel I feel really good about finishing those levels. You think they didn't get to finish the engine as much as it should have? I don't know. I'm surprised they even got a second game. To be honest. This is a game that probably survived on the graphics and music alone. I don't think if, if this game came out any other time, I think this game will never have gotten a sequel. And if it got a sequel, it would have been a different developer. I don't think it would have been the same the same people. Because wow, this this does not feel good to play or finish. Less so complete. I can't imagine actually completing this game. Like, like for fun? No. For for some masochistic sense of oh, I need to complete this game. Maybe. For 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 actually having fun doing hunting every secret in the game? No. I w I wouldn't have fun. There are games that are extremely fun. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, extremely fun. I I don't even notice. Don't even notice how much time I spent just fucking around not even actually progressing the game well yeah yeah I mean I don't want to compare I'm just saying that some games are fun to to just explore and find stuff in that you didn't know were there was there before this is a game that I don't feel like I want to see anymore I don't feel like I want to see it again. <laughs> I, I'm a person who doesn't enjoy replaying games to, to begin with. But there are some games that are so so fun to use fuck around that replaying them is is fine. Like, I, I actually feel like replaying them sometimes. This is not one of them. This is a game that actually makes me feel like I will not enjoy the Donkey Kong franchise. You say DK2 vastly improves. It doesn't fix everything. Well, let's put an end to this. Up. Yeah, no, I, I don't see myself playing any more Donkey Kong for a long time. Like, maybe when I run out of things to, to play, and that, that's a long way from now. That, that's a long, long time from from where we are. At least three years, maybe four. 
at the pace I, I, at the pace I finish games, yeah, like four or five years before I touch another Donkey Kong game. Well, that's uh, yeah. Thanks for the kiss. Let me check who is around for a raid. Oh, Flowart is streaming Levelhead. Let's raid someone who is playing a good game. Yeah, that, that feels good. That, that feels better than playing this game. Let's play... Let, let's watch someone who is actually playing a good game. <laughs> there we go. Raid set up for Flowart. Okay, that was, that was Donkey Kong Country and this, this is Mirtomov signing out. Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope all of you have a wonderful evening. I hope all of you have a very good night. And if you're going to bed right now, I hope a giant moth from the void comes into your room to snuggle up with you, keeping you warm, cozy, and safe. So you may have very good dreams. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.